and today we're going to be fitting air assist suspension to the back of the Ducato. Morning. Right, today's job we're going to be fitting this air suspension kit to the back of the van. There's quite a few different kits available um, at different price points with different features. Um, I've gone for this one which is an eBay kit uh, but with branded airbags which is the most important thing and um, with two uh, air pressure dials and fillers. I haven't gone for one with a compressor because we, no, we, we've never had them before and literally we're just going to get it to give it a nice ride and then leave it alone. We're not the sort of people to fiddle every time you fill up with water or to try and self-level on a campsite. We would never have in all our days camping, so we never will. So we're just not going to bother putting in a, a dedicated compressor. This kit did only come with a single gauge and was supposed to come with a T-piece, so you had one pressure for both sides. Um, but we asked them just to provide two independent meters uh, pressure gauges so we can control left and right balance. Um, we've got no idea when we build the van if we're going to be left or right heavy, um, but uh, this way we can sort of balance it out a bit. There's only six bolts, you know, so um, the usual question, you know, how hard can it be? We don't quite know. I might regret putting the tow bar uh, on because I'm going to crack my head on it, I'm sure. Um, but in theory, what we can do is remove these yellow bump stops or suspension helpers and then clamp in the new system. Simple as that. Um, I think we've got to modify a few ABS brackets for the rest of it, but time will tell. Um, but as the van's new, it should be fairly straightforward. You can see the U bolts on the suspension. Um, on some kits, you have to take those off and either replace them and put a fixing under uh, the U bolts to hold that onto the axle. Um, it clamps around the axle. So there's, you know, we don't have to take anything apart on the actual suspension, apart from very trivial uh, unscrew of the bump stop. So from my perspective, just leaving the van uh, as standard as possible, which is quite important. All right, let's see how it goes. Good news number one is these we can just spin, and no banging, no rust, and also because there's no weight in the back, there's no suspension compression needed. So we can just undo this and then that drops out leaving us a nice gap. Then the mounting plate uh, with the recess facing down and a low, um, low head bolt, um, bolts in exactly the same place. So we just whack it in and tighten it up. On the new vans the, uh, there's this bracket uh, which holds the ABS sensor clip is, is uh, too low so the airbag can actually hit it. Um, so and on this one we just need to modify it and basically hacksaw the bottom of this bracket off. So this is the ABS cable, so all we're just going to do is um, just basically probably move it around, um, could put a sheath on it of some sort, um, some conduit, um, just to protect it from rubbing. And there is a brake pipe here, it's got protection on, so we cover this in some protection um, and then we'll just strap it up to this part here. Um, that'll be nice and safe and out of the way. And then we just screw on the mounting plate onto this hole, um, do it up, happy days. Okay, and there's our bag one in place ready to tighten up. So we've just got a couple of bolts that need tightening up here. And then on the front side, these uh, six mil uh, hex keys do up. And it's very hard to show, but it just clamps up around the existing um, clamp. Um, very clever, very neat, and absolutely no harm at all to the um, original van. And we can see the old clip up there, um, which is now well out of the way with the cables, and that's been covered in um, zinc 182 as well. So, yeah, just tighten all that up, and then we just connect the air hose, and um, job's a good one. For the gauges and meters, we're just going to have them in the garage, so there will be a fixed around here at some point. Um, but for now we'll just uh, have it loose, um, but we'll follow the same cable path we use for the tow bar to get the tubes underneath and connect them up to the airbags. Okay, so I've put the air lines in the conduit, uh, slung up through the chassis where I put nice 
Um, seems pretty straightforward. Um, it seems to work. Um, and obviously we've got enough slack here to uh, to the suspension movements, um, and that being the spring on it. Um, now, yes, it's all pumped up um, on 30 psi. Um, they nice and firm. You just make sure it doesn't go down overnight. Um, but pretty straightforward. Um, nothing really unexpected. Um, the airbags clear all the brackets. Um, yeah, happy days. One of those jobs that went as well as you'd hoped. Anyway, that's how to fit some airbags.